Friends, uh, here we are on the Mount of Olives, standing just outside of Jerusalem. And behind me is the uh, scenic backdrop of the Temple Mount and the Dome of the Rock, very familiar to most people. And if you've never been to Israel, I encourage you to come and, and visit at least once uh, before you die. I want to share with you, though, something, friends, that um, you can know for sure where you're going when you die. And uh, I want to give you just a real quick illustration of what it takes in order to get to heaven. Now, there are a lot of churches, there's a lot of uh, ministries out there that promote a, a works-based type of salvation, meaning that in order to go to heaven, you have to be good, you have to do something, uh, you have to maybe give money to your church or get baptized or all sorts of things. And, and I just want to share with you a real quick illustration about what the Bible says it takes in order to get to heaven. I want this hand right here to represent you and me, and I want this wallet to represent all of our sins. The Bible says that for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It says that there's not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Meaning this, that uh, you, my friend, are a sinner. And I'm a sinner and, and my family's a sinner and everybody in the world is a sinner. And here we are with our sin. The Bible says that God loves us but hates our sin. It says that the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is not church membership. The wages of sin is not water baptism. The wages of sin is not giving money to your church or, or coming to church or traveling to Israel or doing all these good deeds. The wages of this sin is death. I want you to watch this very closely here. I want this hand to represent the Lord Jesus. And 2,000 years ago, he came to this earth to die on the cross for your sins, for my sins. He came to die on the cross for our sins. Remember, the wages of sin is death. It's not church membership. 2,000 years ago, he said this, that if we place our faith in him alone as our savior, we'll spend an eternity with him in heaven. It's not about turning over a new leaf or getting water baptized. The wages of sin is death, and Jesus Christ died on the cross to pay for our sins. And the Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So friends, if you're listening or watching this right now, I just encourage you to place your faith in Christ alone as your personal Savior. He's not only my Savior, but He's the Savior of the entire world to anybody who places their faith in Him alone as their Savior. So I encourage you to do that. I encourage you to trust in Him right now, that in the quietness of your own mind, you might say something simple like this, Lord, the best I know how, I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross to pay for my sin. I'm receiving the free gift of salvation now. And friends, if you've done that, God promises you eternal life. Eternal life that you can never lose because you're not working in order to keep it. Jesus died once for all to pay for the sin of the entire world. And that simple faith alone in Him will grant you access to Him when you die. So friends, I encourage you to do that. I encourage you to visit uh, Jerusalem, visit the Holy Land. This is a wonderful place. And uh, if you're looking to, uh, to go on a trip at some point in time, uh, we try to travel twice a year in the spring and in the fall. We try to make it extremely reasonable for everyone. So we encourage you to just uh, click on the link provided to let us know that if you're interested. And click on the link as well that uh, we might know that you trusted Christ as your personal Savior. We'll send some free information out to you. Uh, we'll try to get it out to you right away, okay? Thank you so much and God bless.